Uh, very good evening to you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. Hope you had a good day. Now, coming up on the programme tonight, a former president of Hull Students' Union says that racist abuse against her was ignored by the city's university. Being the first female black president meant that I was opened up to racism and discrimination. Unfortunately, I was often subjected to racism in the workplace. She has described the experience as being toxic and tonight the woman who spent two years working in Hull has told Look North that all major organisations should do more to tackle racism. Asaro Otobo was the president of Hull University Students Union after completing her studies. But says both the union and the university are guilty of ignoring racist behaviour towards her. They say that they're working hard to stamp out all racism on the campus. Crispin Rolfe has this report. Being the first female black president meant that I was opened up to racism. The whole experience was so toxic. I was physically assaulted and verbally racially abused at our end of year ball. Hello. My name is Osaro Otobo, and unfortunately, I was often subjected to racism in the workplace. She spoke up in the search for Libby Squire. It's amazing to see so many people here. Represented the university and its student union. It's a very special day for the University of Hull. And now, Osaro Otobo is calling out racism. The university and the students' union tend to shy away on topics to do with black students or any type of diversity issue. Even as a member of staff at the student union, when these things happened to me, it left me thinking, would they ever stand up and take appropriate action when racism ever happens at all? The former student union president claims both the university and the union failed to deal with complaints she made during her six years in Hull. Now she's calling for all UK institutions to have visible policy on discrimination, including a formal complaints procedure, a timescale and a record of proceedings to ensure accountability. Well, today the University of Hull refused to be interviewed, but in a statement said... We are deeply saddened by any one of our students having experienced racism on campus. We're working with the Students' Union to ensure all aspects of the student experience stamp out discrimination. And the Hull University Students' Union also told us that racism has no place here at Hull. Last year a new code of conduct was released to which all Student Union members must agree to abide by. So she's calling for organisations to have clear equal opportunities policies. Um, so uh, that kind of uh, transparency and that kind of clear statement from an organisation on how they would deal with uh, discrimination and equalities issues is very important. Asaro Atobo is now adding her voice to the likes of Star Wars star John Boyega. And with Change in the Air, She's hoping that the government will listen to her call for a clearly defined complaints procedure around claims of racism. Crispin Rolf, BBC Look North. Well, Dr Jason Arde is from the Department of Sociology at Durham University. I mean, is the, is the current legislation on racism sufficient and adequate enough, do you think? I think, um, firstly, thank you so much for having me on.